Now back to Kutaro's tale. Uh, you'll recall that even after the Moon Goddess was defeated and her legion was put to rout, her loyal subjects tried to resist. Four champions, ever faithful, rose to their mistress's cause. Over a period of weeks, they concocted an elaborate plan to lead a pathetically small but equally valiant army against the Moonbear King's castle, Grizzlestein. Did it work? Well... Onward, he names! The bear shall pay the price for his crimes! Pia! Who They were hopelessly outnumbered, but so desperately did they fight, so bravely did they broil, that the tyrant himself finally deigned to confront them. <laughs> you fight well, dare I say, skillfully. But alas, <laughs> that shield will not protect you from me! Power! And that was the end of that revolt. The Moonbear King used his dark magic to lock the four champions' powers away, and all would-be challenges to his throne were wiped from the face of the moon. This shield was a special one indeed, for within it still dwelled the power of the Moon Goddess's knight, he whose valiant struggles ended in tragedy. Alas, poor knight, I knew him, Kutaro. This flashy shield of his got him farther than most, but when you paint it against the king, then you fear what the better of him, and you're looking at the rest of him. These scratches, courtesy of the Moon Bear King. Just look what's become of the Moon Sigil. But the Knight's honor carries the deepest gashes. He spent his final cow. Oops, sorry, couldn't keep my paws off. <laughs> Kutaro had claimed the knight's powers. Woohoo! Why, you got it, you sweet little muffin. Try those powers out! <laughs> Get out of the way! Don't <laughs> interrupt! Lay off! Luna Kazoo! <laughs> Where's the shield, darling? Use it or lose it! <laughs> Get out of the interrupt! Lay off! Luna Kazoo! Oh, very good. Next up, Luna Bit Part! Okay, short red mouse, shut and ears open! That's my clever boy. Remember, you can fend off nearly any attack, great or small, just as long as you don't get smooshed in the process. Luna Glove! Now fend this sucker off! There. You see? Some attacks can be turned against the attacker. Oh. Next, try pointing the shield upward. What? Did you drop your lunch money? Good. Now point the shield downward. Moving on. Luna Bit Park! The best defense is someone else's offense. And the night shield, as it happens, was specially designed to deflect beams of magic light. <laughs> 
Which is lucky for you, because here comes a doozy! Bounces at that grub there! Yeah! Mastery of the material. Way to go, sweetie. Now, just one more thing, dear. The shield wears out if you use it too much, so be sure to give it lots of rest. Got it? <laughs> then get lost. <laughs> oh, look! The witch conjured up an exit. How sweet. We should hurry before her magic fizzles out. Sadly, not all the castle's puppets were having the same luck as Kutaro. Winken, Blinken, and Nod here tried to make a break for it. And got broken for their trouble. The Moonbear King's overblown guillotine was waiting to reduce all such traitors to scrap. Please, stay on your toes if you want to keep them. Looks like you need a head to get a head. No defense is perfect. You'll find a weakness if you keep your eyes peeled. Climb on up, Kutaro. Color me eclipsed. The shimmering gateway has been swiped. Oh, meow, I remember. The king's brand new security system was installed here last week. Here, the shimmering gateway abruptly ended. Kutaro could not stave off a sinking feeling that things were about to get grim. There you are, you vexatious thief. Magic is 
pouring out of Calibrus. Now, let Tiger have it! I'll get you for this. Mark my words. Well, we've reached the top of the prison towers, but where is the gateway? Help! Somebody! Oh, that's right. The princess is being held here. The witch said you might need to give the shield a rest. Was it the night soul within the shield, or something else stirring? A fire filled Kutaro's heart, and he knew it was his duty to save the princess. Hmm. Just what is it about damsels? She's not even a lady. At best, she's a lady in waiting. Kutaro was disheartened, but his sense of chivalry would not let him leave the lady behind. a princess. I could really go for my own kingdom. No use moaning. A hero never leaves a <coughs> lady behind.
give you enough credit. You're like a hero or something, right? Questing to save the princess? Why else would you have Calibras and the Moon Knight's shield? Well, you're about three feet too short and three hours too late. But thanks. Like, seriously. <laughs> I think we may have an incident on our hands. Tiger is flashing. That's a piece of the Mule Stone. Without that bit of dental work, he'd be a scaredy cat and no better. Danger! High voltage! Good thing my paws don't touch the ground. <laughs> Better try to get some air. Don't you look scrumptious? <laughs> <laughs> Ready to become sword dust? <laughs> I'll whittle you down to size, you little gnat. Oh, so close. Thank you. 
Found one of the moonstone shards. Most impressive. I knew I picked a winner. In fact, I think we're ready to team up in earnest. Who's this little soubrette? What of the Sun Princess's retinue? Where's your mistress? Like I gotta tell you, it's not like you're anybody special, am I right? Ah! Oh, never thought. It's the tyrant! Run for your life! Give me back! My scissors! I'll chase you to the end of the moon! This world belongs to me now! You'll never be safe ever! With the help of Calibrus, Kutaro defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kutaro! The souls he freed were homeward bound.